everyone and welcome back. I wanted to introduce you to the next collaboration stamp set for Stamptember for Simon Says Stamp with Memory Box. We have this gorgeous stamp set that I'm going to be Copic coloring tonight. Here is the beautiful Moments stamp set. This has some beautiful floral arrangements on it and lots of smaller sets to create like a bouquet or just fill in your arrangement a little bit more. I have some 80 pound Nina Solarway cardstock in my Misty tool and I'm inking up one of the arrangements with the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm going to stamp it twice to make sure I have really nice crisp black lines since it is a brand new set. So while I am going to use reds for a poinsettia look, you could color this in really any color and it's going to be gorgeous. Now, as like all my other videos, I will have the supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. This is an exclusive set sold only at Simon Says Stamp and while supplies last. I have all of my Copic colors listed at the top of the screen for you. I'm starting with R29 in the center of the flower and flicking out just a little ways, kind of following the lines on the flower itself. Then I'm coming in with R27 going over those lines, but coming out just a little bit further. And with R22, I'm starting from the tip of the flower and blending in. I'm not going all the way into the center because as I go over my previous colors with the R22, I would be lifting up some of that dark ink and I wanted to keep its intensity. Next for my greens, I have G19, G14, and G12. This is a little bit different color combination that I would normally use, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit and give you a variety of color combinations. When I color leaves, I try to add the darkest color on the side that is closest to the ground, or in this case, closest to the flower. Then I'll just blend out with my remaining colors. Now, as I got to the leaves that are underneath the flower, I kind of didn't even follow my own guideline. Sometimes I just forget as long as I have a dark color and a light color. Sometimes that's just all you need. You don't even have to worry about exactly where a highlight area is supposed to go. After I finish the leaves, I'm going to move on to the berries. And for this one, I am using R59, R39, and R35. I added the R59 in kind of a C form towards the bottom of the berry and then blend it out with the rest of the colors. But honestly, I could have stopped at R39 and just left that small little sliver of white cardstock. That looked really great as I'm looking at it while editing the video as far as just leaving that bright highlight area. Now we have another piece of white cardstock that is cut to three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm starting with a cherry ink from Simon Says Stamp. The corner I'm starting in is actually going to be my top left corner. I just turn it this way because it's easier for me to ink blend. So I'm starting at the very corner there really heavy handed, but as the ink wears off and I'm blending towards the opposite corner, I'm going to have it fade off into white. So every now and then I'm going to bring in my arrangement just to make sure I have enough ink kind of trailing off to the opposite corner. And I'm also going to use that to help align my sentiment, which is off of this same stamp set as well. I'm inking this up in the intense black ink, once again, stamping it twice to make sure I have a good impression. Then after I stamped it, let it dry for a little bit. I wanted to add just a little bit more interest to my background. So I'm going to take a post-it note and just kind of mask off my sentiment. I'm going to be adding some gold flicks, but I don't want the gold flicks over my sentiment because sometimes if, you know, just flicking is very uncontrollable. So I didn't want to have it kind of goop up over my sentiment. I'm adding a drop of water. This is the Gonzai Tombi Starry Colors set. And then I'm picking that up with my paintbrush and flicking this over the background. I'm going to let this dry for a few moments, or you could heat it up with a heat tool to speed up that drying process. And then I'm adding tape runner behind this panel, and I'm going to add it to a card front that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to add dimension to my arrangement by taking some of this foam tape from Simon Says Stamp, applying it all over the back of the arrangement. And then once I remove the backing, I can place this up in that top corner and afterwards trim off any excess that's overhanging. The close-up pictures at the end of the video is going to show you a lot of sparkle on the berries, and that's because off screen, I did decide to add some stickles to the berries for a little bit more sparkle. So while I did do this in Christmas colors, it definitely can be used for any occasion. That's going to finish up the card project. I hope you enjoyed today's video and inspiration. If you did enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. 
And if you're not a subscriber, I would love if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you're notified when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for joining me.